incredible story. All right, time for our Nurses Know segment, and this week we're talking about E. coli. I have Bill Chesney here with me from East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Thanks for being here. You're and we're welcome. talking tens of thousands of people that get sick with this. Uh, talk about first how it spreads and the dangers. Well, E. coli, the, the version of E. coli that we're talking about comes from the uh, small intestines of uh, animals like cows and sheep, mm -hmm. things like that. And so it gets spread from their waste uh, to people that touch that, or maybe it gets into ground beef or into food. Somehow they get it in them and uh, it, causes, it causes their symptoms and possibly this disease, uh, hemolytic uremic syndrome. Yeah, it can be pretty serious, oh, these symptoms serious, and complications. Yes. Talk about those. Um, it's uncommon, for one thing. It uh, affects about 6.1 per 100,000 children, so it's, okay. so it's relatively uncommon. But how it starts out is stomach cramps, vomiting, diarrhea that can be bloody. And that's kind of a, I think any parent would trigger that, oh, a bloody diarrhea, right. I need to go to the hospital. Definitely a trigger. And, and mm -hmm. the complications long term can long -term, be Long term, uh, after, after that uh, immediate disease part where you have the, the three initial symptoms, you may go a few days with those, maybe five to seven days with those. And after that, this bacteria, uh, E. coli, sheds a toxin, it's called a shiga toxin and uh, it affects the cells inside your intestines and causes them to bleed and it can get into your bloodstream and then it can cause little micro clots in your bloodstream and those damage the red blood cells and damages organs like your kidney is particularly sensitive to that yeah, and so, so you can go into acute kidney failure. So if you see these symptoms, don't wait, don't hesitate exactly. to take your Exactly. It's a, it's an easy test in the emergency department. Okay. Uh, it's a stool sample and they know the results within hours. Yeah, and real quickly, I'm sure parents are wondering, how do I prevent this from even happening? Well, the best way is to do what your mom told you to do. Uh, wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Um, think about things like if your kids are at a petting zoo or mm -hmm. something, those kind of animals could carry uh, this type of E. coli. So wash your hands after that, cook uh, raw meat, especially ground beef, cook it until it's completely done. Uh, wash all your surfaces that uh, that meat comes in contact with. Um, you know, cleanliness, hygiene, yeah. those are Definitely the major things. All right, Bill, thanks so much for your time. You're and we're going to get all those tips up on locallatenow.com. We'll be right back.